added 0 SL or Duramo speed? Well, it depends. Let's check it out in this uh, video comparison. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hello, welcome back to my channel, guys. In this video comparison today, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, uh, uh, smash the like button if you like this content, you know, it's very important for me. Uh, let's keep this uh, channel growing. Uh, it is just one click for you uh, and uh, very important support uh, for my work and uh, for the channel. So I really appreciate your support. Say that I got several times the question about uh, which shoe I prefer, the Adi Zero SL or the Duramo Speed. Uh, then uh, let's get this comparison done. I'm using this shoe since uh, weeks, uh, um, so you can find all the video reviews uh, in the channel if you are interested in, in more uh, details. Uh, uh, let's get started uh, from the specs, uh, the household midsole and upper, and uh, finally I'll give you my conclusions. Which shoe I prefer and uh, for which training in particular. As we can see from the specs, uh, the Duramo Speed is uh, slightly heavier. Uh, and uh, it has a drop lower uh, than the Adi Zero SL. It is even lower uh, to the ground than the SL, uh, especially in the heel we have uh, a six millimeters of difference and it doesn't have any light strike pro form, uh, which instead it's provided in the uh, Adi Zero SL. Even the price is different, uh, 130 euro uh, for the SL and uh, 90 euro for uh, the Duramo Speed. Uh, so actually the two shoes uh, are slightly different uh, in all the specs. Outsole now. The outsole has different design patterns. More rubber, as you can see in the Duramo, uh, more response form in the SL. Uh, both have a, a good grip, uh, uh, but I found the grip in the SL better due to the design pattern but i would suggest both for uh, mainly for the road in terms of durability i believe we could estimate the same range uh, uh, similar range maybe uh, a bit longer in the sl uh, which has uh, a stiffer and thicker rubber than uh, the duramo speed in terms of durability we could estimate a range of uh, uh, 400 miles at least as we said before the sports form in the uh, sl is uh, more standard than in the duramo but despite that, uh, I prefer the Duramo in this case. Uh, it feels less firm and uh, more uh, flexible and comfortable. Even though, uh, as we can see here, the SL has a, a Light Strike Pro form insert in the forefoot. Uh, as we know, the Light Strike Pro is uh, lighter and uh, more bouncier than the uh, normal Light Strike and less stiffer. But even though uh, I haven't felt this uh, too much in comparison with the Duramo, so I believe there is not that much difference. Rather, I felt the uh, SL more uh, stiffer in the forefoot than the Duramo Speed. Both shoes has uh, neither a torsion system nor energy rods, uh, so in terms of efficiency, as you can see from the running dynamics collected, uh, looking at the ground contact time, uh, they are quite similar and inferior of other shoes uh, in the lineup. Uh, despite the ground contact time is almost the same, the vertical oscillation ratio is uh, lower in the SL, uh, therefore it means that the SL uh, propels you forward uh, better than the Duramo Speed, uh, while the response of the shoes uh, looks uh, pretty similar. Midsole now! Another difference is the foam. Uh, while the midsole in the SL uh, is made out of light strike with a small light strike uh, pro insert, uh, as we have seen before uh, in the forefoot, Duramo Speed is made out of um, entirely with the light strike, uh, which we know is uh, stiffer than the light strike pro uh, that is the premium form used by Adidas. But despite the insert of the Light Strike Pro and despite the stockade of the Duramo Speed that is lower than the stockade of the Adi Zero SL, still I prefer the Duramo Speed because uh, it gives me a more comfortable ride and uh, more cushiony, at least uh, from my feeling. The rocket design in the SL looks a little bit more uh, pronounced and uh, higher than in the uh, Duramo Speed. Therefore, I guess, the better vertical oscillation ratio of the SL in comparison with the Duramo Speed, a characteristic which also support better the rolling motion and the heel to toe uh, transition. Upper now. The uppers are totally different, uh, kind of stylish and very uh, stretchy, strong uppers uh, in both shoes, uh, as we can see. So the SL has 
really nice upper, very stretchy, the Duramo is the same, so very nice, stylish upper and very uh, very stretchy. At the same time, uh, uh, not that breathable uppers, um, even though I believe the SL is slightly better in this case, uh, and uh, the Duramo is quite a warm shoe, uh, perfect uh, for the winter time. Both have a good fit, uh, as I like, uh, without uh, leaving too much room in the forefoot, uh, and they are true to size. The heel cant is overpadded, especially in the SL. You can see here how much uh, padding we have. And uh, I prefer the counter in the uh, Duramo, which still, I believe, uh, could be um, improved and could be thinner. Uh, still too much rubber, but I appreciated more the foot lockdown of the Duramo Speed than uh, the foot lockdown of the uh, Adi Zero SL. The tanks are both comfortable. I prefer the one in the SL because it's uh, a little bit higher uh, than the one in the Duramo Speed. Here I got the laces. Uh, uh, I prefer the laces in the Duramo Speed uh, because uh, wider and stronger than uh, the laces in the SL. In terms of durability, I believe both hoppers are uh, very durable. So in conclusion, looking uh, at the uh, dynamics uh, collected in general, I should suggest the, to use the SL for tempo run uh, because more efficient uh, due to the better vertical oscillation ratio and uh, because uh, they support uh, better rolling motions uh, because the rocker in the forefoot and instead to use the Duramo speed uh, for easy running. But I have to say uh, that according to my feeling, actually, I prefer the Duramo speed uh, either for uh, tempo run or for easy run uh, because as I said before um, the Duramo Speed gives me a more comfortable ride uh, uh, and um, also actually I prefer the Duramo uh, for tempo run uh, because not that stiff like uh, the, the ride uh, with the, the, the Zero SL so this one is one of the few cases uh, uh, maybe the first one where my feeling is uh, somehow contradicting uh, the findings in the uh, running dynamics uh, collected uh, but it might be my personal preferences um, but in conclusion I would say uh, I would not spend extra money for the SL and actually uh, more I run uh, with the SL more uh, uh, um, I try to avoid to run with the SL uh, because this uh, stiff ride that uh, I didn't feel with the uh, Duramo Speed. With the Duramo Speed I have a very comfortable ride, it's a pleasure uh, to run uh, with the Duramo Speed and uh, I feel like a more versatile shoe than the Adi Zero SL so I would say that uh, the Duramo Speed is more value for money. For fast workouts if you have the option to include another shoes in your shoes rotation uh, I would suggest different models because both models are not made uh, for uh, speed workouts in my opinion and uh, also not for racing. I hope guys this video was uh, somehow answering all your questions. If not, please raise your question in the comment below. I will more than happy to, to answer it. Don't forget to smash the like button if you like this content. You know it's very important for me. It doesn't cost anything to you and uh, will support my work. And of course, subscribe if you haven't yet, so you won't miss any new video. As usual, as usual, uh, thank you for your support and for watching. And uh, till the next time, keep running. Ciao.